Hi, my name is Carsten Beinecke and I'm the product manager of Plant Tools. This video shows the various features of our product Plant Data Manager. Plant Data Manager allows you to access and edit existing data, link data, as well as create new objects outside of your CAD model. After loading the project, you can switch between PNID and 3D data. You can use the same views as an AutoCAD PNID or Plant 3D. When using drawing-based views, you can select multiple drawings also. You can start editing data either in a spreadsheet format or using the single object palette. You type in data as you please. Selection lists defined in AutoCAD PNID or Plan 3D can be used too. When editing the tag format, relationships are used as well. Here you can see the new tag in the from and to properties of the connected pipeline segments. Next, we import the changes through the Plan Data Manager plugin. You cannot import only one class, but all changes at once. The affected classes are marked as well. So are the drawings, for which the changes exist. You can now accept or reject changes as you are used to in Data Manager. Link configurations created by Plant Link can be used as well. The linked and mapped properties can be recognized by different symbols in the header. By making a right-click on the linked fields, the database window opens and you can select your record set. More about Plant Link in a separate product video. A main feature of Plant Data Manager is the creation of new objects without CAD. We call these objects Not Placed Objects, or NPOs. There are two subtypes of these NPOs suited for two different cases. First, we can add NPOs because these objects are supposed to be inserted in a PNID drawing at some time. This is mostly used at the beginning of a project where no drawing does exist yet, but of course you can insert this type of NPO at any time during your project. Let's create a new pump by selecting Add Object with Graphic. You see the whole class tree of AutoCAD PNID. Go to your pump and insert it and type in a tag. You see the new pump in a green color, so you can distinguish it from other objects. When we want to add a motor to the pump, relationships come into play. These relationships can be defined by you. To add a motor to the pump, make a right click on the pump and select Add Owned Object with Graphic. Last, an instrument. So far we added objects, which will later be inserted into the drawing. Now we want to insert objects which are not supposed to be inserted in a drawing. This is mainly used to supplement your project with objects and data you want later to use in a report or list. Let's add an I.O. unit and a frequency converter. As you can see, it behaves the same way. The difference is that they show up in a different color. Plant Reporter can use these NPOs in its reports and lists. More about that in the Plant Reporter product video. Let's take a look at the relationships between the pump and its sub-elements. Everything is there. Now we can insert the NPOs in our drawing. In Plant Data Manager plugin, we only see those NPOs which are supposed to be in the PNID drawing. We start now inserting the NPOs until the list is empty. You can, of course, stop at any time or switch drawings. Plant Data Manager allows you to access and edit existing data, link data as well as create new objects outside of your CAD model. If you have questions about the product, do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks for your attention. 